Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's the 9 to 5 Coach. Uh, today I want to talk to you about my Pokemon Go workout. So this is a quick workout that is really easy to follow um, that you can do while you're trying to find your Pokemon. So what you're going to do is you're just going to have a set of push-ups to start out and then you're going to try to build on that set every time before you start the rest of the workout. Now the main meat of the workout is actually going to have you running and hopefully even sprinting between finding Pokemon. So the keys are to make sure that you have uh, your phone set on vibrate that way every time a Pokemon shows up you don't have to be looking at your phone the whole time you can just be running and you'll feel it vibrate in your hand and then you know to stop hit, hit up that Pokemon and then take off again so the keys that you're gonna need for this workout are a full battery um, I like to wear headphones listen to iHeartRadio while I do it and I also use a, a running app called Runtastic and that just helps me uh, keep track of how far I'm going and also how many calories I'm burning so make sure you have all those things. Um, definitely a full battery since you're gonna be running all those apps. And uh, I'll show you how I go about with this workout. All right, so the beginning of the workout, you're gonna do a set of push-ups. So I'm gonna do 10 real quick. Again, I'm not looking at my phone while I'm running. I'm just waiting for that little vibration that happens when a new Pokemon shows up on your screen. My suggestion for this workout is to start just doing some light jogging between finding Pokemon, and then you can over time increase that to sprinting, which is gonna help you burn more fat, more calories, and can even help you build some leg muscle. I would start out doing about two miles for your first workout, and then you can increase that over time um, I like to do three miles right now, um, but you could even do more if you wanted to, and you'll be able to track that through the Runtastic app. So as you can see, this is a pretty simple workout. Um, it's not very complicated. It doesn't have a whole lot of moving parts, but I feel like that is key to actually be able to stick to the program. Uh, if there was too much going on with it, it would be pretty hard to actually concentrate on catching the Pokemon in the first place. And really this is designed to be enjoyable and really just attack on to your gaming experience. Alright, so I have completed my workout. All I'm going to do now is uh, do another quick set of push-ups and I am done for the day. All right, so that is version 1.0 of the workout. Uh, if you're interested in finding out about the progression and uh, other versions of the workout, just uh, message me and I will send you a description of how that is laid out. So here's a quick picture of the park I was at for this workout. I've been here a few times, so I know the layout pretty well, and I actually uh, map it out so that I'm hitting up the poke spots as well. And this is just a great way to increase your items, uh, find Pokemon, and also add kilometers to your eggs so that you can hatch them through the incubators, all while getting a workout in and burning fat. So next time you're out looking for Pokemon, try out this workout, and you'll see it's a great way to burn fat and increase your cardiovascular endurance since you're out there anyways. If you have any questions or comments, definitely send those my way. And make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.